Hey guys, take a moment to video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone photos to your iCloud account so that you can access them from any other iOS device that you have. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of photos on my iPhone here. Now I need to back it up to my iCloud account. And the reason why I usually do that is that it can be accessed and saved on the cloud. So you can pretty much access them anywhere on another device that you signed in. So the very first thing to do is, as you saw here, I open up my settings app and you want to go ahead and sign into your Apple account here if you're not already signed in or if you need to create one, simply create one. Once you do that, your name should show up here. You're going to click on this. And once you click on that, well, you'll notice here is the iCloud feature here. So click on iCloud here. And under the iCloud here, it's going to show you all the apps using your iCloud. So you can show all and just show you all the apps that are being backed up to your iCloud. And the important one that we're looking at here is photos. So on our photos, which also includes the videos on iPhone, simply click on that and you'll see something of this nature on your screen. This is on iOS 17. So you might see a slightly different screen if you're on an older version, but simply you want to click on sync and then you want to enable. And what we do is when we sync and enable, it allows you to sync all of your photos that's stored on your iPhone to your iCloud account. So it becomes iCloud photos now. So as you can see here, you can learn a little bit more about it. And once this is happening, you'll have to wait till the status will update in terms of when it's being backed up here. So as you can see here right now, it says pending deletion, but again, it should improve. And then the other thing you'll see here where it says uh, optimize your iCloud, um, iPhone storage or keep and download or original. I just leave it as default, but you can pretty much play with it. And then share album is if you want to share albums with others, you can select that. So I go back here and as you can see, it's now turned on. I click on it here, wait till the actual status shows up. Sometimes if you have a lot of photos and videos, I'm talking about maybe hundreds, even thousands, it's going to take a little bit longer for you to um, sync or back up to the iCloud. During this process, I recommend being on a good, strong Wi-Fi. Cellular data works, but it's usually slower when it's backing up through your cellular data. And you'll see here, it's going to show you when this syncing is happening between your iPhone and backing up to your iCloud. So the, the way it works is with the photos, they sort of sync together in order to store into your iCloud. There's really no backup button. And the other thing you might find sometimes is that if you have using the five gig, which is kind of the free storage, you might need to upgrade to a bigger plan if you have a lot of photos that you need to back up to iCloud. In order to do that, you can click on manage storage and you can click on here to save or change your storage plan, which will pop up and give you to be able to save stuff, right? As you notice your five gig might not be enough for most people, it isn't enough. You might need to go into a bigger plan like 50 gig where you pay 99 cents per month, 200 gig or 299. And as you can see here, the options are available if you're going to be upgrading to iCloud Plus in order to back up, as you can see here, for more photos and videos. Typically, I recommend most people will go with the, the 200 gig because depending on what the storage size is on your phone, you want to match it up. So if you have like 128 gig, 50 gig might not be enough if you're using close to that gig. But sweet spot is probably 200, but that's up to how much storage you're using. And you can also go into your setting to check currently how much storage you're using by going into your settings, iPhone, and then iPhone storage. Here it tells you, as you can see here, I'm using 24 gigs, but let's say you're using if you have a phone with 128 gig and you're using close to that much, you want to kind of match up how much iCloud storage you plan that you buy and you can always upgrade it as well. So that's how you do an iCloud uh, photo backup here. Again, you can go back into your settings, iCloud, photos, and here you'll see the status as the syncing is happening, but eventually it will tell you how many photos and videos have been backed up to your iCloud account and you can access them on any other I was device, so I hope this quick little video was helpful. If so, please make the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.